Hey guys, in this video we will cover another objective for the MO200 exam and namely how we can insert relative, absolute and mixed references in Microsoft Excel. Before we start, I encourage you to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new training content and now let's begin. So firstly, we will explain all those three and it will be useful to go to the formulas tab and click show formulas for the demonstration purposes. Okay, so in order to start any operation or, or reference in Excel, we firstly have to write an equal sign and let's make it equal to this cell. This what you can see right here is a relative reference and we can recognize it by seeing that there are no dollar signs around. Let's check out its behavior. When we populate this cell in the column, the raw number changes accordingly. If we populate it into other columns, the column character changes accordingly. This is, a, this is the behavior of a relative reference. Now let's check out the absolute reference. Let's make it equal to this cell. And in order to make it absolute, we have to insert dollar signs before the column character and, and row number. And the easiest way to do this in Excel is to point somewhere here and click F4. This is an absolute reference and let's check out its behavior. As you can see, it doesn't change at all, which is useful in some calculations which we will show later. The next type is a mixed reference with the column character being locked. So let's make it equal to this cell. Let's click F4. And now the column character is locked. So you can see that when I go down the row the row number changes accordingly but when I go right the column character reference doesn't change at all and the last type is a mixed reference with the column with the row number locked so let's click equals this cell f4 like that and now the column number is locked but the row so once again the row number is locked but the column character can change accordingly f g h perfect so these are all the four types of references that you need to know for the exam and let's check out some usages for example, if we want to count or multiply always the number in column A with the number in column B, let's click equals this cell times this cell. We can see that it is a relative reference and we can easily populate it. Now let's say we let's say we will copy these references into this column notice how it changed so now it is multiplying column b with column c we can perhaps show formulas perfect and now let's perhaps make this column a and let's make it an absolute reference. So F4 
perfect like that enter and show unshow formulas so now this is the result and let's in the column e multiply all those numbers with this number equals this times this and now when we for example populate it you will see that there will be an error or respectively it is multiplying by zero because here are no numbers so we have to set this as an absolute reference f4 perfect perfect so yeah guys that is all for this video i hope you find it useful if so smash that like button and we'll catch you guys in the next one bye